everyone, it's Sarah. I'm Alfred. And we're going to play Half-Life Part 3. Mm -hmm. So do you remember what happened in the last few? Um, We saw Mr. G. The G-Man. The G-Man. Mm -hmm. um, some people shot us. That was unfortunate. Yeah. So we did some science uh, and triggered a thing called a resonance cascade. Oh, I don't remember that part, but maybe I just didn't know the name for it. Yeah. That's what that big old green burst of energy is called. It's a resonance, resonance cascade. Okay, so what is... Okay, hold on. I'm going to ask you what the difference between a, a, a clip and a magazine is. But first, I want to guess. Okay. A clip is the actual, like metal part that holds the magazine. Is that not correct? A clip is not the correct term. A magazine is what those people actually mean. Oh god. So what, what the hell is a clip? It's just a con it's like saying ATM machine. Hmm. Man, I forgot how good these guys are. This is a fantastic AI. Uh, There's a video I'll send you later um, about these guys' AI. They have the ability to dynamically flank you and make up sentences on their own. Same. Yeah? So I was correct, except exactly opposite. Oh. So I said the, the clip is the metal part, and the magazine is what goes inside and it's the exact opposite the magazine is the metal part and the clip is like the bullets that go inside interesting so i guess they could all be correct when they say it it's just most people probably don't know the specific difference but like i mean it gets the point across right yeah but yeah most most people particularly those like weirdo second amendment guys just lose their fucking minds if you call uh, a magazine, a clip. Well, the thing is, is here is the thing. I've said this before. I'll say it again. I, I don't mind when people know less knowledge about guns. You know. Yeah. I think more people need to know less about guns. It would make me feel more comfortable. Yeah. No. I, I'm mainly kidding. I think that knowledge is a wonderful power, but I think most people who have that knowledge don't really like to do good with it. So. Yeah. Are we going to see lava in this game? Uh, I think so. I love a good lava stage. Yeah. It's a classic. So, Alfred, you yeah. are... You are ambidextrous. Yeah. I am a person who also has some ambidextry to me. Yeah. Um, because of that reason, I do most things with my right hand. But for some reason, when I have a guitar in my hand, I play left-handed. Mm-hmm. When I first held a real gun... I was inclined to hold it left-handed, and it wasn't—it wasn't until like being told repeatedly that I was holding it wrong that I actually just like put it in my right hand. But the fact that my brain was like, "No, it needs to go left," is su such a weird part about being like only slightly ambidextrous, you know? You might be left-eyed. Um, I do know one of my eyes has astigmatism in them, so. So yeah, Maybe um, that's in the Elder Scrolls, the protagonist is usually like a righty. Mhm. Mm but then they will use bows in the wrong hand if you're supposed to be right-handed. Oh, neat. Uh, which implies that they are left-eyed but right-handed. 
so they shoot with the other hand. My left ear also works a little better than my right ear. I don't know if that is, um, relevant at all, but, you know. Hey, tell everyone your cool hiccup facts that you learned. I learned that the default state of the brain is hiccups on. <laughs> and then you have another thing in your brain to turn hiccups off. I love that. I love that so much. I love that default is hiccups. Yeah. <sighs> so we've mowed down like... It's now getting into the double digits of United States soldiers. Uh, any opinions on this? Oh, that is a very broad question to ask me at this time of night. Um, I support it. Yeah, like, I know that they're in the army, but that doesn't make this not a war crime, and it also doesn't not make it self-defense. Oh, God! Would be, yeah, that's a given. Only a maniac would think this is, like, justified. So, yeah, I, I don't know if you've noticed how clever that they can be, but, like, if you're trying to hunker down in a location, they'll just toss a little grenade in there just to, just to you know, tickle your britches. Little, little tickle. They light a little fire under your booty. Yeah. Match in the ass. Ooh, my is ready. Surface access, by the way. Do you think Freeman drinks tea or do you think he's a fucking coffee guy? Coffee, man. Not only is he a scientist, not only is he an American. But we also know he went to a standard American college. He went to fucking MIT, I think. Mm, I imagine, like, Freeman with, like, um, a coffee in one side of his bag and tongues in the other. And what? Like, as an American, uh, American person. No, what is the other thing in the side of his bag, please? Um. Um. Okay. What did you think I said? Come. <laughs> what else would make me so incensed? <laughs> Just a thermos <laughs> full of lukewarm cum. You know, that's what I thought you were talking about. I mean, this for later. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, they're shelling this place. This is Freeman's demon break. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I'm missing the action. Semen break sounds like an anime fighting move attack. See, <laughs> so yeah, we're being shelled. Doesn't, in the future games, doesn't, like, health just, like, go directly into your spine? Uh, you might be thinking of Dead Space. I might be. I love how these fucking rocks bounce. I wonder. With enough force, do you... Mm, I guess it would depend on the material of the rock. Yeah. Oh my god. Those guys are the really? God, Freeman's such a badass. Yeah. I saved in a bad part. Oh, yeah. Are there better places that I can... Oh, that, that's not bad at all. Oh, pretty good. Lucky me. See, I was talking with a, a friend about Freeman. Um... Because they com I commented on how, like, Freeman's born lucky and he's the strongest and doesn't afraid of anything. Yeah, yeah, etc. Et and they were like, it's not that he's that lucky, it's that he has infinite retries. Anyone would think that you're born lucky if you can try as many times as you want. I'm like, yeah, that's why he's so cool. <sighs> what kind of event?
is a wide vent. I hate this. You know, I used to be really afraid of, um, like, moving fans. Yeah? And, um, I don't know if this was brave or stupid, and I'm stupid, but one time I just stuck my whole hand in a fan, because I was like, it's not worth living with this anxiety. And I got a bruise and it was fine. So now I no longer have my crippling fear of moving fans. Phenophobia. Yeah. I've got to say, of all of the things to fire in a... Did you hear what he said, Sarah? No, I didn't. What did he say? He said, I've killed 12 dumbass scientists and not one of them fought back. This sucks. Oh my god. God. Like, these guys are, like, the most stereotypical fucking jock assholes that you could possibly ever, like, fabricate. I love how that's just, like, the stereotype for, um, like, like fucking around the world, that's the stereotype for fool of himself military man. Yeah. I was watching this Korean, um, period drama, and that's how they, um kind of showed the historical, like, Japanese army. Just a bunch of people who are like, oh, this sucks. These innocent lives. Like, these people didn't even fight me when I fucking murdered them. There's no honor in killing all these civilians, but I'll do it anyway, I guess. Yeah. This? No. <laughs> what? I sorry, I was just almost spit up my tea because I love the fucking clang of Freeman just going Neah. Like, he has a fucking doctorate. And yet he does also unga bunga gorilla swing his crowbar and things. Is that a racist thing to say? I don't know. I need to look I don't we, we should get rid of that from our dialogue if that's racist. I mean, yeah, but also it's a uh I I use it because it's a fighting game thing. Like, just huge, stocky gorilla characters are always, like, called Unga. Like, Soul Bad Guy. Yeah. Hey, alright. Power up. So, I don't know if you recognize where we are, but we were here, like, an hour ago. Oh, fucking love that. Mm hmm It's something that's really cool for the game and also really works. It is, uh... Uh, because it works to save space in game, and it works to make the game like feel cooler. Mm -hmm. Of wrapping in on yourself, you know, it's not quite like Bloodborne level, but it's good. Sorry, I'm getting stuck in here. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I keep stepping on bugs. Um, it is not racist. It kind of just refers to cavemen. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, is that racist? It is a different race in that it is, like, not the same species. Yeah, it's kind of just a way to refer to cavemen, and then, like, historically, it can kind of just be used against anyone you see as, like, lesser intelligence. So it's not specifically, so, I mean, yeah. I don't even think I would call it a gray area, but better safe than sorry, you know? Yeah. I'm not CYA. in the business of uh, attempting to perpetuate uh, stereotypes. Uh, uh, I love the rust texture on this. In this room. There's a lot of good texture in this game. Why do they need so many oscillating fans? I guess the place won't stink that way. Yeah, you have to remember that this whole fucking place is underground, and if they don't have things that automatically circulate the air, it will just stay there. Okay, this is a... I don't, I don't think this is, like... 
like great story time story time but i remember for like a year in high school i would have constant dreams about like living in a facility underground like resident evil half-life style and then one day they stopped and like I don't know what my what was on my mind in sophomore year of high school, but just constantly those were the dreams. I don't know either, babe. Does that happen to anyone else? You just like have this one running dream that goes for this long period of time. Does that happen to you, Alfie? Uh, mm, I don't think so. Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone else. Like, it's not even the reoccurring dream of, like, ah, oh, my teeth are falling out or something, you know? I think something good is like... coming up. Ooh, I'm excited. Get my ramblings going away. Blast pit. There it is. Blast bit. Comedy, everyone. Say hello to my large friend. No, Vengeance is here? Damn you. <laughs> okay. Oh no, Alfred, I hear the morning birds. No, stop them. I can't, they're so noisy. What are you in a while? That was stupid. Cool guy Freeman chickens out from his mistakes once again. Hey man, if you could reset the world and do something over, even if it was stupid, would you? I think it would give me a lot of fucking anxiety. Well, I can do it. How do you think I feel? I think it's it, it's less when you know it's a game. No, but I'm like, in the real world too. Jesus. Oh, that makes sense. That's why you're so impossibly perfect. It is. That's why I'm so great. Ah, uh, uh, words elude me in the wee hours of the morning. Apparently, you also become a Victorian child. A Victorian child? Yeah. Why a child? I don't know. A spare crowbar in case you missed one the first time. Oh, that's why I've been getting so fucked up. This whole room's full of big explosion. I love doing that, but I also hate doing it. Because, like, I do love jumping on, uh, elevators and, and getting up really high. But then I, I hate when I have to come down. Ah, <sighs> sounds like a metaphor. Yeah. So, you can actually see here that bull squids will hunt certain other... Take that. Is that Jesus. what they're called? Bull squids? Uh, the Cthulhu dogs? Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you can hear my suit talking to me. But I've just fractured one of my leg bones. Uh, there's a really cool subsystem. Occasionally when you take a really big hit, your suit will let you know, and then it'll, uh, say that it's dispensing, uh, morphine into your system. And if you've accepted morphine and then take another hit later, it won't say that it's, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, you're fine. Plug it off. In actuality, defending me from radiation is what this suit is supposed to be for. 
It won't say what? Uh, it won't say uh, morphine administered again until like 30 minutes later. God, I... I would rather just go through pain. At least the adrenaline's running. Like, with morphine, like, when, I, when I'm when i on strong, you know, and it's happened a couple times because I've gotten, you know, my tonsils removed, I got my and teeth removed, so I've been on some pretty heavy pain medication. And I just, I don't want to do anything. I just want to lay down, sleep, or stare at the wall. I don't feel like I would be prepared to just take on, you know, I, don't, I feel like it kind of counteracts the... The um, adrenaline, you know? Yeah, but also, like, once that wears off, you still have a fucking broken leg. Yeah, like, what, is, what does it do? It just makes you think you're not hurt. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool system that it'll stop giving you morphine for a while and wait. God damn it. Minor you're just tripping. Detected. Warning. Um, it's a cool subsystem in that it will give you morphine and then stop giving you morphine until it is safe to give you some more fiend. Ah. Yep. Ah, uh, the green hue in this in this place reminds me of my cute little cat lamp. Of your what? My cat lamp that you got me. Oh, yeah. It changes many colors, Shit. but I usually keep it on green because it makes me happy. Go, go, go. I wonder how good of a pacifist run one can do of Half-Life. Hmm. You just start the game over immediately. I'm trying to fucking make those things all quieter, but it's really hard. Are you having trouble hearing me or yourself? Or I'm just. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to accidentally drown you out. Oh, here he comes! He's so cute. That's the way. That's the way I see the cats when I come home. Sarah, I've literally called you out for encountering video game creatures and and thinking of them as our cats before. Yeah, what about it? Nothing. Check this out. Oh, he turned into a bunch of Legos. Oh god. Just don't find those guys threatening very much. Nice. There they go. Whew. I feel like if the mass world was like introduced to these guys, that we would probably still survive because they're kind of dumb. It's the people yeah. controlling these guys that worry me. Hey, do you hear that, by the way? Mm -mm, no. Listen. Got. There's a large clanging. Oh, I see. Hey, look at your health. No, no, no! Get it off me! Get it out! Get it out! Hmm. Hmm. These are the tentacles. Boy. They kind of look like little little dinosaurs. A little bit. So, we need oxygen, fuel, and power. But do you see your health? I do. I commented on it, in fact. Ah. Hey, man, what's up? I'm going to take a few of these. Is that all right? Hug. So these things cannot see me. They Do echolocate. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, and wouldn't you know it, but they're very strong. 
I see that now. Anyway, wouldn't you know it, but what makes a big sound but... Granado. A granada. Yeah, I hit one of them. I love their little tappy taps. It's kind of cute. Yeah, they're not terrible. Can you hold still and, like, they can't sense you then? Yeah. If I That's slow cool. walk like this, they can't either. Ah, uh, chumps. No, idiots. Up. They kind of remind me of, uh... God, what are those little... They're not... <sighs> the little sky rats by the sea. What? What are those birds called? In Morrowind? No! Um... Seagulls? In real life. Seagulls! They're like seagulls. <laughs> the sky rats by the sea. You hear yourself sometimes, Sarah. <laughs> Honest question. No, but I hope it's joyful for you. <laughs> Certainly something. Man, you know what this is making me want? Hmm. To play Half Life uh, 2. Do you feel that that when you're playing Half-Life 2, do you feel that way about Half-Life 1? No. Half-Life 2 is the superior one. Oh, I see. When I'm Sequel playing Half-Life 2, I'm like, I hope I never have to stop doing this. And then the end of the game comes and I have to stop. And then Gabe never made a fucking other game. Aw, and you're gonna let me play Half-Life 2 instead? Yeah. That's so sweet. Well, you've never played it before. It's I think it's an important... It's one of those games that I think everyone should play. You get to experience it a second time through me. Second? Uh, 20th. <laughs> yeah, that's a little closer. You know, that was actually, I think, the first PC game I ever saw running. Interesting. On mine the topic was pretty of... fish. Go on. I said mine was pretty fish. That's fair. <laughs> Do you remember that, uh, that one cool boyfriend that my biological mother had? Yeah. Actually, on the topic of Star Trek transporters, he wrote a fan fiction where the theory where every time you use a transporter, you just die. Um, and he wrote a theory about all of James Kirk's, uh, like, dead selves teaming up in the afterlife. He wrote a fan fiction about that. I love that. You know that we talked about that? That would be, like, two episodes ago for someone who's watching this now. Yeah. Call back. It, just, it was very... Speaking on, the, speaking on the topic of transporters when we weren't talking about transporters. Look, they get a little peek into the life of what it must be like to have a horrible, horrible, broken brain. And or ADHD. Yeah. Solidarity. Anyway, the first thing, uh, I, I remember seeing him run Half-Life 2 Episode 1 on his computer, and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't say that, of course, because I was like eight or so. Did you think it? I, I remember my mind just being like completely blown. Like, I've never seen anything that looks that good on a computer or anything else. It's yeah, like it real life, like but cooler. Yeah, your mind was blown when your grandma told you that uh, boobies was slang for breasts. Stop telling people about that. <laughs> I only told one person. Who did you tell? Damn you. The doom doors have worked against me. Um... Anyway, yeah, this was, like, one of the first, like, games I ever knew that you could get on your PC that wasn't, like, shitty ROM hacks of Sonic. Alright, so, 
it's long been joked that um you all right dear yes i'm quite all right i'm trying to hide the fact that it is 5 a.m <laughs> you haven't been speaking uh so there have been many things that violate osha in in black mesa and this is a big one here this fucking fan that starts from the underneath. <laughs> How are you possibly supposed to use this thing safely? Maybe there's like a control switch somewhere else. There isn't. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, oh, you I made see. it. I did. So, where do you think uh, we go next? Up. Is that possible? If you're wearing a ha like MC Hammer pants and a poncho. I guess so. Not if you're uh if you weigh an extra like 200 pounds because of the giant metal fucking mech suit you're wearing. We should bring MC Hammer pants back. No, we shouldn't. Okay, but not that material. Like, okay, think about it. No. Like, think think about it. Uh, harem pants are just MC Hammer pants, but in a different material. No, they aren't. They totally are. You're totally a maniac who's trying to bring back M MC Hammer pants after we spent a lot of time defeating them. I need, like, a top... Like, ten trends that should not come back. MC Hammer pants are totally just harem pants, Alfred. Ugh. They're just in a different material. His are, like, made out of fucking... Nylon? I don't know. Aluminum foil? <laughs> Vinyl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You will on. Do you need batteries for your flashlight? Uh, it rechar it recharges. Oh, nice. It actually this is this is interesting. It actually used to be tied to the battery of your suit, which is just your armor. You know how much like defense you have. Mm -hmm. Um, but as they found out, that was fucking stupid and people hated it. No, I would hate that too. Like, oh, I'm on low health, so I can't use my flashlight. So I take more damage because I can't see anything. So I die, you know? Right. It's one of those things that really gets hammered out in game development. I love the design of this creature. Mm -hmm. Of all of the Zen creatures, it's one of my favorites. Oh, babe, you're gonna get got. I love their cute little tippy taps. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, what's over here? Dip, 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 dip. Woo. That was a close one. You broke the sound barrier with your oof. Sorry. I realized I probably clipped my mic something awful. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that jagged. Thank God I've got my tetanus shots. You're right. I, I do just want to quote Freeman's line. Oh, God. <laughs> Alfie. Where's the ladder? There Remember that one. map in... Remember that map in Doom that's like this part? Yes, I do. There's a, there's quite a few maps in Doom that are like this, honestly. It's like you just made to suffer. Why are we here? And, just to suffer. And like to die. <laughs> Shouldn't you get a tetanus shot soon, by the way? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, why? That thing, like, tetanus shots, like, expire after, like, ten years. 
Well, luckily I have had them, and they're not sitting in my, you know, in my cupboard. Wait, what? You know, so they don't expire. Oh, I like that. That's funny. Yep. Yeah, so there's also a thing where Hound Eyes, when they team up, will actually bounce their, like, uh, shockwaves off of each other. And you can see that that Hound Eyes shot a white sound wave. And the one at the start of this fight shot a um, light blue one. And they get more less white and more blue until they eventually turn purple. Uh, mm -hmm. The more Hound Eyes there are. There's infighting in this game, right? Yes. Lovely. For one, um, some uh, species of monsters do not get along with each other. We, the bull squids will actually attack other monsters very frequently. And that's why evil will never succeed. Yeah. It's self-defeating. Mm-hmm. Then again, I don't really think a lot of these monsters are evil. I just think they're being controlled by an evil person thing. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, is a wild animal really evil if you go into its den and it bites your head off? Is a is a wolf evil because you teleported it to somebody's living room? Yeah. It's just doing... Do it here? has some morality. Fuck. I don't think you're supposed to go there. But it was a good try. That, there's the bitch. Can we start calling elevators that? No, ladders. <laughs> uh, a ladder is really just an acoustic elevator, if you think about it. Yeah. That is the truth. I like that. There's the elevator I was on. Oh, that would hurt the shit out of your hands. Yep. Man, after I, I'd see a guy, like, fall that far from an elevator, I don't think I would ever take an elevator in this facility ever again. Yeah. Not even, I wouldn't even chance it. I'd be like, I will fucking strafe my way to my objective. I hope no one expects me to start up a generator. The generators went down there and never came back. Hey, yep. Warning. Oh, this is fun. What do you think this will do to us, Sarah? Mm, you go bye-bye. <gasps> oh! It's very fast. I enjoy that. The way it just slams back and forth is very, very good for me. You think, like, when they're on break, they're just like, Ah, oh, you know, I, I deserve to have a little fun today. And they go on the woo the woohoo elevator. Yep. Hey, man. Me too, man. He actually said, this is my hiding spot. Don't tell anyone I'm here and go away so they don't find me. Damn it. You know, I would actually be pretty impressed by the guy who wasn't mauled. He just, like, tripped. He wasn't what now? He wasn't mauled by, like... Anything, he just tripped, you know? Ah, he wasn't mauled, yes. <laughs> Every time you don't hear me, just assume that I use the word come. Ugh. I hope that's a conversation I never have to have ever again. Hey. Yep. Yes, let's go. So I You're think we're good. I push the button, and that's usually what they expect of me, right? God. God. No. 
Oh my gosh, Alfred, what's happening? <laughs> what happened there is that I decided it wasn't worth it because I realized that there is another button and I need to hit it. Go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. I didn't want to go all the way back. You're about to, you're about to sacrifice another... Um... What? <laughs> oh, the little things poked me in the brain. This is my <laughs> In Half-Life, don't look at anything, or else yeah. you will die. Why does that have to go around so fucking fast? I don't know. All right. Though I will say, ladders in Half-Life are bullshit and have been bullshit from day one. And like, this is day one. Ladders are fucking bullshit. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Let's be crystal wanna, goddamn clear. I want to see what this looks like 3D. Like, if he's not using his hands, is he just using his really strong legs to hike himself up real fast? Yeah, no one's ever been able to give me a proper answer on what the fuck this is supposed to look like. But, yeah, it. Gordon Freeman walking up a ladder backwards, reloading a shotgun is pretty classic. I think in the next, um, like, Dark Soul games, they need to put in some type of, like, audio and animation clip of you putting on a big hat and, like, donking your head on every stair down. You oh, know? like that classic, classic, ultra classic Bloodborne video? Yes, absolutely. Like, I think they knew to do it to be like, hey guys, we see you and you're fun. Warning. There we go. Also, it would just make my day, because Dark Souls games can be so fucking heavy. Yeah. Granted, they do a good job of mixing some humor in there. Do you think Half-Life does that? Do you think it mixes some humor in there, or do you think all the humor is made up in our minds? I mean... Sometimes I'm never sh I'm never sure because like think about how funny that fucking uh, clip. God damn it! Think about how funny the fucking uh, shot of the scientists. You push the you come to a sign that says don't use the elevator in an emergency. You push the elevator button. The two scientists that were in the elevator fucking plummet to their death, screaming all the way. Like I have to ask about the intent. Like. If the intent is to make us laugh, good job, you won. But if, like, imagine, like, one of the creators being like, no, that was tragic, well, you know? Part, part, of the, part of the impetus of this game, I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, part of it was they were like, hey, Doom could be scary if they wanted to play it like that, but they mm -hmm. don't. They don't do that, you know? Is there a scary Doom game? It probably Three. flopped, didn't it? Hmm? I said, is there a scary Doom game? And then afterwards I said it probably flopped, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Doom 3 is not well liked. Yeah. When you try to change genre so rapidly, it usually does not do well with the audiences. Well, like, some people were like, no, this is what Doom is supposed to be all along, right? And like, no. Kind of wasn't. No. Like, have you read the shit that happens in between the levels of Doom? It's not meant to be a, like, super elegant, scary game. What happens? It's just like, well, you kicked enough ass to earn your way out of hell every time. All right, we've got the power. We've got the oxygen and the fuel. Ooh, get it, honey. It's time. Get it, baby. Echolocate yeah, this, bitch. Alfred, I was just... A, did you hear me start that sentence? <laughs> I'm glad we have the same, Bren. I was literally about to say that echolocate this, bitch, and then you said it, and I was like, my thunder, no! <laughs> I wonder what the origin of stolen thunder is, is a phrase. Probably a Thor thing. I was going to say Zeus, actually. 
Fair enough. Because, like, it's not stolen hammer. You know? Mm. So, uh, hey, we've come to the end of another 45-minute period. Would you like to cut this episode? Wait, before we do that. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. The idiom comes from the peevish dramatist John Dennis early in the 18th century after he had conceived a novel idea for a thunder machine for his unsuccessful 1709 play Apius and Virginia and later found it used at a performance of Macbeth. Wow. Interesting. So it was exactly like nothing what I thought it would be. Okay. Me too. Awesome. Weird. Anyway. Uh, episode ending? Yeah, you start. Okay. Uh, I've been Alfred. I've been Sarah. And this has been Half-Life. Thank you all for coming. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.